Hi everyone, I'm Lenise Lagan with your Fox News Now update. A local attorney facing a domestic violence charge, Shane Allen Taylor, who has an office in Mobile, was booked into the Baldwin County Jail last night. The arrest happened several days after a paralegal filed an unrelated civil complaint against Taylor. In that complaint, the plaintiff alleges that Taylor neglectly, recklessly, and or intentionally calls harmful, unwanted, offensive, and sexually charged physical contact. The civil complaint brings up several alleged incidents, such as the grabbing of the plaintiff's body and allegations the paralegal was told she had to perform certain sexual acts on the attorney to keep her job. Taylor's arrest involves a different woman. At last check, he is still in jail. Fox News reached out to Taylor's attorney about the arrest and civil complaint, but so far we have not gotten a response. A woman in Fort Walton Beach arrested after deputies found her in a stolen SUV with nearly $9,000 worth of stolen lottery tickets. Investigators say Ursula Evans Lowe was at the Sefco on Martin Luther King Boulevard when they got there. Uh, she was sitting in that stolen vehicle with two flat tires and the hazard lights on. When she went to open the door, deputies say her purse fell out and so did those lottery tickets. All right, a big drug bus in Baldwin County. Look at what deputies found during a traffic stop. That's 15 pounds of high grade marijuana and deputies say Stanley Terrain here was headed to North Carolina from Louisiana when they pulled him over Wednesday on I-65. So he's now being held without bond and charged with drug trafficking. Of course, we already knew it, but it is now official. Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson saying there will be no Mardi Gras parades this year ahead of Ash Wednesday due to COVID-19. The mayor making that announcement during a conference call with city leaders and Port City Mardi Gras societies. But even though the good times won't technically be rolling, the city is trying to drum up suggestions for safe alternatives to celebrate this year's Mardi Gras. The goal is to encourage people to support businesses downtown. COVID's here. They didn't cancel Thanksgiving. We got creative. They didn't cancel Christmas. We got creative. You know, the parades are canceled. The balls are canceled. Mardi Gras is not canceled. It is a season of celebration. So yes, as Mobilians, we're going to come up with a creative way to safely and responsibly celebrate Mardi Gras. And with safety at the forefront, Mayor Stimson releasing this statement. Mardi Gras is a holiday and its significance to our citizens and our city's identity can't be overstated. We will continue to look for ways to balance these important traditions and the health of our citizens and city employees. All right, windy out there today. We'll see that continuing tonight, and then things should start to improve for the weekend. We had wind gusts up near 30 miles an hour at times today because of high pressure building in over Texas and a low pressure area over the Great Lakes. That's accelerating a westerly flow of wind. No rain around. We had a couple of brief showers in Pensacola last night. Not a lot of showers over the western side of the area at all, and now totally clear on our future cast modeling. We go through the day on Saturday, and we'll see more of the same. The only change will be a few scattered upper clouds that may glide through the area during the middle of the day on Sunday. Tomorrow morning near freezing early, pretty cold out there, and we go over to Pensacola at 40 degrees, and we get into the afternoon, getting into the lower to middle 50s on our Saturday. Our forecast starting out chilly, if not cold, with a wind chill in the upper 20s, and then after that, we start to see some improvements tomorrow afternoon with those 50s building in. Here is our extended forecast, and it looks good through early next week. We'll have a little warming trend beyond the MLK holiday on Monday looks better by Tuesday with highs in the 60s.